All right, let's get on with the game. I'm pretty fast right now. Yeah, it definitely helps, but <laughs> this is quite a nice open out area. But um, on the second island, you do have to watch out quite a lot more because there's a lot of um, tanky enemies on the second island. Uh, okay. Ugh. Been trying to get this one Corker. Quite annoying this one. Kept getting hit by those. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to do some editing. Alright. Alright, gotta get the buttons right. Alright. And there we go, we got one more. Yay! <laughs> yeah. That part of reminds me of Donkey Kong. <laughs> but then again, in Sonic 2 they had something like that. And that was 992 where Donkey Kong Country 1 came out in 994. So anyway, I'm going to keep smacking into everything. Right, okay, so we've got one more Coco. I think we should try and get this one. Oh, there's another one on the left there. Right, I'll go get that one. Um, I can't quite remember where this one is. The problem with my off-screen Let's Play, well not Let's Play, but off-screen play, is um, I've got some of the rare Coco's. And I can't remember which ones I've got, which ones I've not got <laughs> in this playthrough. Because some of these are first timers. No, I think it's up there. Right, okay. Right, okay. I have to try getting this one a bunch of times. Right. Uh, up here. Uh, glide up there. Try going on here again. The problem is that sometimes I just like drop dash. So the controls are a little bit wacky in this game. And a little bit, but in the portal stage areas, it, the controls is actually worse. <laughs> uh, right. We have to go right up here. Right, slide up here. Uh, let me just get my bearings right, I don't want to fall off. Right. Uh, I hope I can make this. Get going. I think I'm nearly there. Let's do up a little bit. And let's try and get this one. I can't believe that. <laughs> oh my word, I'm gonna have to keep that path in. <laughs> yeah, um, Tango from a different game. Right. Don't know how much editing this is gonna need. I uh, can't believe I very nearly got that core core. And it's just like. Ugh. Some of these rare core cores are either really easy to get or really hard to get. This and the other one with the big sort of King Coco was like some of the worst ones. Ugh. Right. Right. Finally. I got you this time. Ugh. Right. I'm definitely making a save here. Just got two more Cocos. Right. Right. Okay. Oh, do we not have this one yet? <laughs> we still don't have that one yet. I'm pretty sure I've got that one. Maybe I just didn't save it. I don't know. Oh man, those two Cocos. I lost a bunch of lives. <laughs> I know that you've got like infinite lives, but I'm like kind of trying to keep track of how many I've got. Wait, is this down there? I'm sure I've got that one. There's probably like a different waterfall area. Oh, okay. Ocean Palace. Oh, I like that song. <laughs> Oh, oh well. It takes a while to get to the right song. Yeah. It can get a little bit annoying listening to the same few songs from Sonic Frontier, so I decided to change the music for once. Even though I'm going to be talking right over it, but it's fine. Right, uh, we'll try and get that one. Oh, I can't remember where that one is. I can't remember if I got that one once off screen. Right. Uh, there we go. Oof. At least these upgrades are making me be able to not run out of stamina. I've noticed that Sonic's not getting tired anymore. Wait, it's up there? <laughs> Wait, I'm sure I tried to get this one off screen, but I think it's... Yeah, so I tried to get this one off screen, but I couldn't get it. Um, right, we're going to have to try this again. Yeah, I definitely showcased the very beginning of this, but I didn't actually finish climbing around here. <laughs> well, well, Sonic can climb up, like, in the fault now. <laughs> right, okay, let's get up here. 
At first when I played this off screen, I had no idea how to run across these. So I was like slowly like climbing around like this. It's like that's not actually how you get around places. Right, there we go. Alright. This part's not too bad. Alright. I did have the PC freeze a couple of times while playing this, but I did edit them out. Right. There was supposed to be an enemy here, but I beat him up off screen. It was just one of those shield enemies, it's one of those small fry ones. They revealed the switch just right there. Alright. Alright, let's get up here. Alright. I'm surprised the Starfall did not actually resurrect him. Do you see an enemy does not come back? <sighs> some enemies don't respawn for some reason, there's some that just permanently dies. Alright. If only the three armed guys called Asura actually did not respawn because I wasted some time killing them like the third and fourth time and I didn't even get anything. Not even experience. It's such a huge waste of time killing the same mini boss more than twice. Hmm. Right. Oh this one looks a bit hard. I mean you've got four rotating platforms, that looks hard to get by. Right, I think they should put some uh, power seats and some defense seats here as well. Wait, I could just go across there, I could, I could have just done that earlier. Oh well, I just realised you need to stand on top of that. Right, this looks very hard. Uh, okay, I did it. Right, this doesn't look as hard because there's like a big gap there can run across. Uh, there we go, now we did it. Uh, come on, reveal the cocoa to me. There we go. What are you doing hiding all the way up here? Oh well, we've done it. Okay, that third one I just got in this episode, that one wasn't too bad. <laughs> that one did take me like a couple of tries, but it's fine. Right, okay. So we have to go over that way. Right, uh, let me get this. I think the power seed from this actually, um, yeah it does, they yeah, actually do respawn. So after a Starfall thing, which is very similar to the Blood Moon in um, which is all the Breath of the Wild, it's where the, the seeds seem to um, respawn. Quite surprising, okay. Right, I decided to go do some fishing first because I've not actually completed this whole area yet. Right. Yeah, I like to de tense around here, as Sonic would say. <laughs> right. He goes up like, oh, I want to hurry up and get tails back to normal. I want to go, like, <laughs> oh well. Hook uh, to seahorse. I like seahorses in reality. They're quite nice, them. Right. It was like, Sonic was basically saying, I want to hurry up and get tails back to normal. I don't know where he is, sort of thing. But it's like, uh, you agreed to go help us Coco, they got two Chaos Emeralds, and now you don't want to help him anymore. <laughs> That's not a very nice thing to say. But I'm not surprised why Eamon got frustrated at him, saying, You're gonna just abandon people in need? And it was like, oh, that's not actually what I actually mean. It's like, well, you're giving off, you're giving off that kind of impression. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's not. Oh, Robotnik! Gold plate. Oh, I got an achievement. <laughs> Quite an easy one to get. Alright. So it's like, sorry, because not acting very heroic back there in that one cutscene. There we go. So like, I would definitely not want to abandon someone that I just agreed to help in reality. Thank you. Madaka. Got one token. Not much, but it all adds up. Right. At least the controls are actually quite good here. <laughs> It does get a little bit repetitive, but there's like a new surprise like every like three pictures you get. Three objects. <laughs> Look at that, you can't even see Sonic's face there. <laughs> Too bad you can't use that swordfish as a, as a weapon like you can in Streets of Rage 4. <laughs> Which I do have a let's play of by the way. By the way, I was trying to make one more episode of Streets of Rage 4, but the game kept crashing. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know how to fix it. Oh, at least I got a gold card. <laughs> at least I did like 95% of Streets of Rage 4. While it did not completely uh, boot me out the game. Uh, what to get? Uh, I don't know what to get. Uh, kind of hard to decide. 
Alright, uh, should have get that. I've just realised that my defence is definitely worse than my strength is. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, I'd like to check out the Bishopedia. Right, so they give you a nice little description behind what each of these are. Crayfish, that looks more like a crab or a lobster than a crayfish. Right, tadpole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, believe it or not, in reality, do not let tadpoles come out of the water because they dry up and they can actually die. Some force is keeping me from exiting cyberspace. Is it because my AI made unauthorized access to the databases? If so, that's the exact opposite of what it was supposed to do. Ah, oh, so that's what it does. Maybe we should get more of those. Yeah, let's go get more of those members. It gives you more insight what Robotnik's been up to. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, they do take a while now for some reason. Do the fish ever run out around here? I don't think they do. No, it's got a car. I might not do this for much longer though, because I've already got every single object here. Including the Robotnik gold plates. I'm surprised there's not one with Sonic on it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there we go. I do know that later on in the game, Sonic and Knuckles actually um, remember to call and they even talk about her. I was like, is she in this game? <laughs> I'd be surprised if she is. I'd, I'd actually be quite happy if she is actually in this game. She's kind of an underrated character. She doesn't take a very big part in Sonic Adventures 2, that's the thing. Oh, Defense City. Is that only one? Or is that multiple? It looks like to me that's only one. Right, okay. Uh, let's just do it a little while longer. Are they gonna try and bite? Okay. Right, oh yeah, this is you can tell it's a simple one here. Yeah. Goldfish! Got one token! Right, okay. Let's uh, get the second memo and find out what's in this one. Right. Some force. That gun military craft doing in here. Sage has helped me avoid the worst of it, and it doesn't appear to be manned. Is it a defense mechanism? I need to learn more. Some force. Oh, okay. <laughs> Even he's questioning why they're there. Yeah, I was wondering that in the uh, hall stages. Right, okay. Now that we're out of the fishing area. Um, I think the record goes through this way. Because uh, I don't remember actually doing it, going through this route. Oh, look, there's an enemy up there, so it's probably down this way. Hopefully. Right, let's keep them up. Easy enemy. He's probably the easiest enemy in the game once you have that attack. Trust me, this game would be 10 times harder without that one with Sonic Boom attack. I love how it's called Sonic Boom, and yet there's a game called Sonic Boom. <laughs> and then you got a song called Sonic Boom. <laughs> it's quite surprising. Alright, uh, Just trying to make sure that I don't fall off. Alright. More loop de loop. With it being rails. Uh, I hope I don't fall off here. A camera. Oh! Why did the camera like mess about? Right, let's try this again. Hopefully the camera doesn't mess about with me. I was gonna say the C word. Ah. At least that one only took two tries to get. Right, okay, let's go get some upgrades. Right, how much is this gonna raise me up by? Probably not that much. Oh, my defense is gonna work because obviously I bought some of them from Big the Cat. <laughs> Right, I don't think there's anything else we can do for me. <laughs> right, uh... Do we have all of them? That's the thing I'm thinking. I think this might actually just be it. I think we can just get on with the story. I was going to try and get every single heart token, but I thought we've got too many and they constantly respawn anyway, so there's not really much point. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, let's go this way. I don't think there's actually anything I'm missing. 
Well, nothing major anyway. Right. Do we have everything we need of this guy? So there's two different Elder Coco sorts of things. There's a Hermit one and there's like an Elder one. Right. A village leader. <laughs> I thought you were the leader, Elder. <coughs> right. At least I've got my boost stage. <laughs> More stamina. <laughs> um, I can't believe the made a be where Sonic can get tired now. Why? That was not the case in the first game. Believe it or not, in the prototype to Sonic 1, Sonic used to be like more than twice as fast. Right, okay, this one. Like I was saying earlier, in the prototype to Sonic 1, it's where he used to be twice as fast, but he kept smacking into everything and it would make the game unplayable, which is why they had to half his speed in the full version of um, Sonic 1. Now, this puzzle is absolutely insane. <laughs> when you move one of them, you move the others. And what you're supposed to do is like you're supposed to line them up. Right. Uh, if you look at the floor, you can see there's like tracks. So I'm guessing you're supposed to move this one to the left, maybe? Does that do anything? Yeah, it seems to sort some of it out. But the problem is that when you when you keep one in place and you move the other ones, it's where that happens. And it's just like when you get one right and you move the other one, it all goes wrong. And it's like, uh, it's so annoying. I, there's a lot of guessing involved. I mean, the hints don't really help when they're all constantly moving. It's like, this is for like, several and up, I think, this game. And yet it's like, they made it ridiculously hard for ev even people who don't have the internet. <laughs> uh, it takes a lot of guessing if you don't have the internet. So, you know. Uh, I don't know if I should move this one. Uh, this is actually pretty frustrating already. I tried to do it once, but it's where <laughs> I edited it out. And I thought, no, I'll do it some other time. Like I did mention in one of my other uh, episodes, I was like, ugh, I'm not doing this yet. <laughs> I saved the worst part till last. <laughs> Look how bad that looks. Well, it's not my fault they all keep moving. Look how I'm supposed to... Right. Wait, that actually worked. Some of that was total guessing. <laughs> uh, right. Nice little cutscene here. Yay. <laughs> uh, that was kind of frustrating, but it didn't take as long as when I did it once on my off-screen play, but it's definitely been faster than something like that. That about half, well, twice, but even half the time. You did it, Sonic. I'm sensing the Titan up ahead. This is it, the big showdown. It'll be a short match if I can't find the last Chaos Emerald, though. I searched everywhere I could. I'm out of ideas. So where is it? Eh, maybe I'll find it along the way. <sighs> I think I'll um, make a save here. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to actually show your support, you may take like, share, or subscribe to my channel. You can even do all three of them if you want to. So yeah, and with that, I'll end up the video. So thanks you for watching.